So we've got, um, I'm going to put uh, lights into this model. This is the 1 8 scale King Chopper. And where this particular light is the headlights. And that's going to sit right about here on this bar. But what needs to be done is we put the LEDs into the headlight buckets. And that's this tiny little dude right here. So what we need to do, first thing, you can see it. I don't know if you can see it there or not. There's a little nub right towards the center of that. And that's where you want, I want to put the hole for the LED access. So, we start by using an X-Acto and getting a good little starter point into that particular little nub. I've already done it on the other one. And then we take <laughs> just a drill get it on that little starter point and drill through Just like that. And then you, with a pair of snips, you try to get inside there as much as you can and snip off some of that excess so that the LED's got a place to land or lay down because you're going to glue it in here using a super glue so that it holds it in place. Now what I'm using to light this are Pico LEDs which are really 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 tiny but the light output is amazing. And this is one right here. And I doubt very much if that camera is going to do that any sort of justice. So at the end of this, I'll have some pictures that are close up of this. Now, I got the ones that have got the resistor in line right here and these run off of they can run off of a 9 volt battery or a train transformer or whatever power supply just don't burn them up which is easy to do and then we take the LED We run it right through that hole and get it out on the other side. Make sure it's going to fit through fine first to test fit. And like with so many other things, you have to scrape the chrome or the glue won't hold. Okay. Then we take this little LED and we're going to pop it through the hole. Right 
like so. And then all you're going to do is take a little drop of glue. Put it right on that wire. And then we fold that down and hold it in place. We we'll have the glue set up. <sighs> Generally doesn't take too long to do. Now I get these these LEDs come from a company in Washington State called Lighthouse LEDs. And I'll put the link to that in the description below for you guys if you're interested in trying to do something like this. And they've got some of the best prices that I've found anyway for their bulk rate. I, bought, I have bought these I believe it was a, a package of 50. It could have been 25, but I think it was 50. And their shipping is incredibly quick. Doesn't take you long to get them. I think the longest I've waited has been three days. Could have been four, because if you order before 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they'll get it out same day. If you order after that, it's not going to get out until the next day. And then you wait an extra day, of course, day or two, of course, depending on the on the mail service. And then that's that's in place. And then for the hole, just so that. You got a little hole right there where you where we just drilled. And you're going to want to kind of seal that up. This also helps hold the hold the light in place too. Takes a little longer to dry. And I didn't leave myself all that much wire here, so I'm going to Pop back some of that. <clears throat> and we're testing it with a 9 volt battery. And you should be able to just see that little dude flicker. That down there. And then after that gets good and dry in place. We'll be putting it on the. On the support frame that will go out and actually go on the on the model itself and the trick to it is is hiding the wires and that you know that looks a little bit big but this is likely going to end up being hidden underneath the fuel tank where it's not going to be seen or readily seen unless you're really looking for it so just takes a little bit of time. Oh, I don't want that there. I want it over here. There we go. And we'll let that set up. And then what you do is, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to repeat the same process for the other light. And then we'll put the lights on. And after they're on, 
you do your, your course I can't stress this often enough test test and retest because you don't want to have a situation where you end up you think you got everything completed all the wires are run everything's hooked up good and then boom you hit the switch the lights don't work so you have to go back try mind you try to take apart the areas where you've got everything pretty much complete and you got to basically end up destroying whatever work you've done so you don't want to do that so you can't yeah you've got to test 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 and then retest it again just to make sure so that's it for this one and Hope you guys liked it. I'm going to try to come back with them um, after they're just on the framework. And we'll, I'll, I'll probably end up just shooting some pictures and posting them at the end of this video. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned because there's more to come.